everybody! Hi! It's another day on Busokewa TV. As mm-hmm. usual, it's your host, Bea and, um, and Sarah. So, before we start, guys, please, Mrs. Sal, who subscribe, who like, who comment, who mm-hmm. share. share with your friends this video so that everybody always say, who you fool Zakito from this video. So, Bila Potezam now, today's mm-hmm. topic is about drama and stuff like that. Yes, I'm cheating partners once. <laughs> I believe this is a topic. Oh, this is a, a thing about most of us to share pity at some point in our lives. Mm-hmm. Personally, I have. I had one cheating partner, it was painful. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yes. Like, it is so evil. Life goes on. So, I'm not talking For instance, would you really take back a cheating partner? Okay, uh, I would have to say yes. Okay, I would do that. I'll be open to that. Let me listen <laughs> why. Let, let, let's hear it. Why would you take a cheating partner? Why? Let's just hear this. Okay, maybe it's going to be good. Yeah. Love, How deep. Mm-hmm. How connected I am to huyo mtu ambaye okay. ninatoka naye. Okay. Yes, kwa hiyo that hiyo itakuwa kitu cha kwanza. Cha pili itakuwa kumpa ile the benefit of the doubt, unajua, kwamba anajaribu kumpa nafasi nyingine, nione okay. kwamba sasa nyingine unajua kuna ile tuseme kupitiwa kama mtu unajua kama umejuana, especially kama umejuana kwa muda mrefu, alafu hicho kitu akikuwa hai kutokea kikatokea. Kwenye swala la I think it depends with the scenario. I mean, come on. Yes. I mean, come on. I think yes, it depends with true. the scenario. Okay, fine. To say my scenario, I'm going to hide your pity. I'm a plan, Kabisa, and he's doing it purposely. So, Sahako, it is very. Ah. You're eco sensitive. But on my case, on my case, now, Gele. Why are you going to know to buy me pity? Okay, yes. To say me, I'm a pity. I'm a pity. I'm a pity. I'm a pity. Okay. You've heard tokea. that before. You can talk here. Why are you? nitampa nafasi nyingine nione kama hiki kitu kitajirudia au atabadilika you know please okay. give me another excuse <laughs> another excuse please okay uh, excuse nyingine itakuwa ni kuanza mahusiano upya na mtu mwingine hiyo okay. kwangu mimi ninaongelea kwangu mimi personally ni challenge kwa hiyo i would rather ile anasema zimwi the devil I know than the devil that I don't know. So let's be honest guys, especially for Sisi Bijana society. Yeah. And that's the reality. Ipo ipo okay. Yeah, ipo ipo. Why you could disappointed tena na mtu mwingine in the same way so in a different way. Ni bora niwe na huyo huyo kifurugi wangu. Then to start over with someone else. Alafu na nyingine itakuwa ni revenge. For revenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So you guys, you, I mean, <laughs> I didn't know it was that real. And I see kuna watu wengine they just take back a cheating partner just to get a revenge on them yes. and cheat back like. You give a that person That is so petty. Yes, you give a person a dose of their own medicine, right? <laughs> that is like, so, petty. so I'm putting you in my shoes now, you know. You see how it feels. Yes. Well, on my part, I don't like being petty. <laughs> so <laughs> I won't take it back. Oh. No, it's a no. Why? I'm just, I'm just being honest, you know. Maybe I have. First of all, I have trust issues. Mm-hmm. The minute I take you back, kunaile, kunaile yo, na wasiwasi, kunaile ni unaweza tao kani ambia uko same. I'm like maybe it's too busy. Eni unaniyo kunaule uwa mini phone na kungua tena. How po? I just. Yeah, you know, if I think it's just me, I just have mm. trust issues. See, no, no, it's not just you, my dear. Like that's a that's a real thing. Yes, maybe I'm supporting taking back. Like, you need, there's the trust issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I won't be able to move on from that. See, then, if I'm at a relationship with Africa, Bali, 
kuna some point to it itabidi issue so we won't be the same anymore you question it i mean I, i i said it before kwamba i had this one partner by yeah he cheated i decided to take him back and why do it didn't it didn't even i couldn't let it so we had the issue trust issues and all that i was like ingine tuna binadamu tuna tabia moja yani ukishaona kwamba nimefanya kosa nikasamea unatumia una, una kwa kama mazoea mazoe fulani mm-hmm. unaona oh ni kawaida maybe i will just do this some nitafanya tena yeah. nitafanya tena <laughs> and then nitamwomba <laughs> msamaa itanirudia which is narudi na ongea for reference for <laughs> 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 reference that guy who cheated on me like i said i forgive him and all that he cheated for a second time with the same woman okay. so like ni mazoea so i guess i learned from that from mm-hmm. there is no way when i saw ka fine same thing plus um my biggest reason if you if, if he loves you or if she loves you he would I never atofanya awe si kufanya hivyo au at least kama hivyo unavyosema hivyo akipitiwa na shetani inakuwa ni circumstance ambayo hata ukielezea unasema ilo okay nitaelewa kweli mm-hmm. itokea like hivyo amepitiwa Ki, lakini unajua ile intentionally you doing something ambao unajua kabisa mtu anayekupenda okay. itamuumiza i don't think that there's love anymore you yeah. know so i don't know i just see where it's Mm. I support that. I support that. But anyway, so like on a serious note. Like how do you take this whole issue? Like maybe at a maybe advice for the young generation. So okay. Ili shamba kuna go. Tumeamua ku normalize. Ni sensitive mm-hmm. lakini tumeamua ku normalize. In our society this is just normal. I just heard this one girl one time and alikuwa anasema kwamba mimi mwanamme wangu anaweza ka cheat like mwanamme ku cheat ni kawaida mm-hmm. like we shouldn't be no like it's a very ni stigma mbaya sana yeah. yes ni stigma mbaya sana maybe uko shauri wangu wa kwanza anaweza akasema tujifunze kuwa empathetic yani jiweke katika viatu vya yule mwanzako hata na, i think hata i don't want to quote that did lakini naisi hata kwenye bible inasema usimfanyie mtu mm-hmm. kitu ambacho hata kinawe kufanyiwa yeah, kwa sababu katika ile essence ya kawaida kabisa yani hii kitu ina break mtu unajua yani, kuna, kuna kitu ambacho unakichukua kwa mtu ukimsaliti eh, mm-hmm. ambacho hawezi kukipata tena kwa hiyo tujifunze kuwa empathetic yeah. always put yourself in the other person's uh, in the other person's shoe alafu pia ukishaona hicho kitu kimetokea na kweli ukakijutia mm-hmm. then kionyeshe kwa matendo kama ulikuwa unafanya efforts zenye ku, 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 kufanya ni kufanya ma, uh, mahusiano yenu yawe imara yeah. basi unazidisha zile efforts ufanye mara mbili yake mara tatu yake yani kwa sababu pale tayari unapokuwa umeshamsaliti mwanzako unamweka kwenye hali ya sintofahamu or something like that kwa hiyo inabidi ujitahidi sana kama kweli ni kitu ambacho ukukusudia kufanya na unaona kimemuumiza mwanzako utajitahidi kadri ya uwezavyo kurudisha ile trust to you and to the relationship kama yeah. kweli kama yeah. kweli umekukusudia ume, hicho kitu yeah. eh lakini pia kuna ishu pia nyingine ambayo tume notice kwenye jamii um, people tend to take back um, cheating partners because of the dependency unajua mtu akiwa very dependent anakuwa hana any other way ya kuwe unajua kuna ile unakuwa umeinvest kwenye relationship kwamba you depend on that either maybe kuna mtoto hapo yuko involved so kwa familia zetu za Kiafrika wamama wengi wanaona hawezi kuondoka sababu ya watoto na ingine kwa vijana sasa the most common thing money like you find someone who is um who is supporting you financially kwa mm-hmm. unajiuliza like if i leave this person mama kuja kujituma kuwa independent to see to see kutumia mahusiano kama chanzo cha income, income or anything or such to see pende kuinvest maisha yetu yote when your relationship and another thing another advice that i have for the young generation um unajua tuna this idea kwamba 
being in a relationship is a must being in a relationship is not a must but you are a relationship is a relationship is a it's a big concept mm -hmm. it's supposed to make you grow it's supposed to make you yani, it's not fura, supposed to be a struggle yeah. yeah keep it for and stuff like that kwa hiyo kama mshua siku unajua inakuja ku hizi hizi mambo zina huwa zinaleta muda mwingine hata effects za ku bring out toxicity yeah. in a relationship kwa hiyo we shouldn't tolerate it vitu sana and we shouldn't keep our minds kwamba it's a must being in a relationship kama it's not working kama you're not being respected just just walk away, away. Yeah. plus we should be aware kwamba I don't know if I'm being negative or if I'm if now but we should we should also be open to the idea of that maybe love is just not made for everyone. Yeah. People are dying at the age of 1, 2, 3 years old. Yeah. People are dying even before meeting someone. Do you think wale labda walikuwa hawajua how deserve? You know, we shouldn't be forcing things. Wao wanaweza ukalazimisha mapenzi at the age of 20s kumbe you supposed to to meet someone at the age of 40 yani ndio ni hivyo the whole key point is this not force things yani unamdangania mtu kama ndo huyo huyo yani kama ndo huyo utakufa naye come on tunasema ndio mambo asema like why we shouldn't yani come on we have we have so much to life and just relationships and, and just having one person like unaweza ukashangaa huyo amekucheat kumbe ni mipango ya mungu you supposed to meet someone of that yeah much much better yeah do you feel so guys that was just it for today we just to end that took a little topic kabu kwa sababu tuliona ni ni kitu ambacho kiko kidogo sensitive lakini tunaona ki normalize kwenye society So I guess everyone learned one or two things from this video yes. on today's topic. I ulikuwa na sisi Bea, Sarah, as the usual our camera woman Sarah Sasi. <laughs> She would kill us. Forget about it. Kill the stigma guys. Kill the stigma. Kill, kill the stigma the man. Cheating is not a normal thing. If you really love that person, you wouldn't do that. Unless shetani ukupitia. Na shetani ukupitia, please do better. Be better. Be Always. better. Come on. So guys, until next time. Bye-bye.